a big thing I would offer to new people is reputation. You got to keep that up because that's one thing that's super, super hard to build, build back. Uh, Mike, you know me on a level where we're not teammates, where we just talk on the track, uh, talk about races. You know more of what I'm like than I think people I've been teammates with do because when I'm teammates with somebody, I was extremely hard on myself, extremely hard on them. And like I said, I was blaming everybody but myself. Right. Uh, so I just, before we go any further, I just want to offer a sincere apology to anybody who had ever been on a team with me and who has a negative <laughs> view of me. I encourage you, please just talk to me. I'm not about as a guy now as I seemed back then. <laughs> well, so I want to, I just want to talk about the reputation thing too. And I agree. I think that's if, if I was to start out, and give somebody advice, you know, they're just starting out the same thing because I have a similar, um, this time's not about me, but, but it relates directly. I had a very similar background coming in as you did, as far as like, um, I got into Forza on the Xbox and I got like a cheap Thrustmaster set and started racing. I got pretty quick and like, I, you know, I wasn't doing all the competition stuff you were, but like, I was doing pretty well, got into the PC was doing like, um, <clears throat> doing project cars too, and a set of course in VR there and stuff. And, so I come into iRacing and I, I was a veteran sim racer when I came into iRacing and I was a bit faster. My iRating jumped pretty quick. I mean, within six months, I was up above 3000, you know, well above like 3,500, less than six months. And, and, you know, but, but because of that, like, I just, for some reason, just like you, I thought I was, you said you thought you were better or, or, or you had a kind of a bit of a superiority but, complex super, yeah yeah and, and i and, and I, mine wasn't necessarily superiority but the idea that i thought i was just as good as the best guys on the track and like, i was let me almost, correct that if you were <laughs> yeah well i, I, I kind of was as fast almost i was still overdriving a little bit but i was still almost as fast yeah. and because of that i did and, and i and i did most of my racing on consoles um i didn't really care about wrecking an ai right so like right. i had that same exactly. attitude on the track and, and, and then, and as people have heard this story, but the reason I want to get to the, it's hard to repair reputation. Like, so Tracy got a hold of me and I, I mean, I feel like I changed the way I was doing that stuff like a year, a year, a year ago or more. And, you know, and I'll go, I'll go a two dozen races without having hardly any incidents at all. And at one race and I have a bad race and I start getting, we start getting into people and stuff and I, and, and people just turn on me like, 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 yep, same as always. And I'm always, dude, I just raced. I just raced 20 races without hardly an incident point ever. And it's one race. You know, it's like, because they remember the old ways that the old ways things were, and they just pile on. And it's been so hard for me to try to rebuild that as well. So we share that in common. And I think we can both say from different aspects, you're talking about team stuff. I'm talking about one track stuff, but if you hurt your reputation, it's so hard and you got and you work yep. and work and work at it. It's so hard to change people's minds about you. So anyway, good. Yeah. It is so hard to fix it. Uh, you can't, you couldn't have said it any better. No matter, I like, I could get, do the same thing. Like I wasn't just a menace to teams. I was a menace on the track. <laughs> the track. So, yeah, me yeah, too. <laughs> I, I, I had that mentality. Like you said, you're used to racing AI. If you junk it, you can click restart. So I had that mentality. I'm coming in, I'm taking the trophy, metaphorical trophy or the yep, me metaphorical store, steering wheel. I'm just going to back out of the race. That, exactly. So just like you said, I, I could go all winter and be clean and have zero X and have my SR to 4.99. And the one race I do with someone like Randall Fox, I accidentally tap him. And this is nothing against Randall. I'm just using him as an example because yep. he just popped up on my Facebook up here on my fourth monitor. <laughs> and it, he remembers me from 2019, 2020, uh, later 2020, I mean, earlier 2020. And he's like, yep, same old Tommy hadn't changed at all. I'm like, I'm trying, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to touch you. I'm, yep. I, it's my fault completely hand up i'm so sorry it's i just, just so, learned to grin and bear it you know yeah. it is what it's it just, is it's just so hard to fix stuff like that and honestly uh blake reynolds the coke series driver he offered me the best advice at the tail end of 2020 i believe yeah 2021 yeah 2020 it was um you got to focus on yourself you can't just mm -hmm. be hoping people can do it for you. You have to focus on yourself. You have to put work into yourself because like with streaming, I've got a hot temper. I won't even lie to you. I, I say what I feel and it gets me in trouble with streaming. And he's like, you gotta, you gotta control your tongue. A B you gotta work on your race craft. And then C you have got to 
figure out what's wrong and why you're jumping from team to team to team to team. Because like I said, I was with good teams. I was with great teams, especially in low line and especially with Michael Morley. I just didn't recognize that because we had one off like uh, with, let's go to a specific example. Like with Michael Morley, we were doing a open in Atlanta. I won seven races. That was my best week on the sim to the time. I expected then we had two bad weeks. Uh, we went to Dover and Chicago lane and by bad, we were still winning races, but not as many as that. I decided, no, the grass is greener over here, and I left. And it wasn't smart because that builds a bad reputation for yourself. Right. Trace, good one, man. I didn't mean to hijack your interview, man. I just, I just oh. shared that. It was kindred spirits. I shared. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, 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 I understand what Tommy was saying, you know? But yeah, you got, no, it's all good. What yeah. you guys need to do is give away hot dogs like I do here in the beginning of the race. <laughs> oh, give away hot like you want it, Robert. And, yeah, you, go, you give away hot dogs. If you don't bring out a caution, you get a hot dog. And, and you can go see uh, Big Boot Betty in whatever concession stand she happened to be at. And, and you get a hot dog if you don't bring out a caution. That's a good way to have a good, clean race and, and have a and nice reputation because you get away hot dogs. Exactly. <laughs> There you go. And uh, for people that are kind of joining in the middle of the podcast, once again, we have Tommy Gossett here uh, to this week, and he's one of our Coke driver, getting right our road to pro drivers, I should say. So we have Tommy, and we appreciate you being here, bud. Thank you very much. Appreciate um, you having me. Yeah. For this part, for this segment, that was pretty much it, unless you have anything else you want to add. But I'm telling you what, dude, it was so in-depth. I was watching us, you know? So that's, <laughs> that's what I was doing. I was so in involved in what you were saying, you know? It's good stuff. But anyway, so that's really all I had for this part. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this short clip from our Alien Factory podcast. Be sure to check us out every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time here on our YouTube channel. That is youtube.com backslash Area 51 Alien Factory. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet. We really appreciate your subscription to the channel. Also, if you really want to help the channel out, the best thing you can do is share this video anywhere you can on Facebook, on Twitter, Discord, anywhere that you can share the video. We'd appreciate it. That's really going to help our channel out. Also, get down to the bottom and you can check out the description below. There's some promo codes and affiliate links down there and different things down in the description. So don't forget to get on and check that out. And if you would like to get notified anytime, that we go live with either our podcasts, live streaming races, or when we upload any of our great on-demand content series here on the channel, just hit that bell icon down below and you will get notified anytime that new content comes up on the channel. We appreciate you sticking with us this video. And as always, we will see you in the next one.